We are working through exercise 17D and in this video we'll be answering question 1 which says for which of the following curves is dy dx positive for all values of x. So we're considering our derivative here of each of the following graphs and we want to see whether or not they're positive for all values of x. So remember when we're thinking about derivatives what we're thinking about is rate of change and if our rate of change is positive that means it's going to be increasing. Now when we look at these graphs you could probably almost tell me just by looking at it that this isn't going to have a positive derivative because it's decreasing. The way in which we can visualize this is by considering the tangent at each point. So for instance if I was to draw the tangent just for a random point here you can clearly see that the gradient of this tangent is going to be less than zero. It's going to be a negative gradient. And no matter where I draw my tangent, remember my tangent should just touch it once. This is going to be quite hard. It's always going to be sloping down. It's always going to be negative. And that tells me that my gradient isn't positive, so therefore my derivative isn't going to be positive, which means A isn't going to be an answer. Let's now look at B. And again, we're going to be considering the derivative by drawing a tangent at each point and considering the gradient of the tangent. So I'm going to draw a tangent here. And as you can see, it's increasing. I'm going to have another one here. Let me try that again. One there, that's increasing. They're all going to be increasing. No matter where I draw it, they're always going to have an increasing gradient. It's always going to have a positive gradient, which means that my derivative is going to be positive for all the values of x. So b is going to be one of my answers. When we look here, you can immediately see that I have areas that are decreasing. It has a decreasing gradient for the tangent. These tangents are really hard to draw. So obviously this isn't going to be one of them. So let me cross that out. Let me now come down to d. And as you can see, this is going to be increasing here. It's going to be increasing here. It's going to have a really steep increase there increasing, increasing, increasing. So that means D is going to be positive gradient or positive derivative for all values of X because as you can see as I draw my tangent, my tangents have positive gradients for everywhere in X. This one is clearly not going to be an answer because if I were to draw a tangent in, drawing these tangents are really quite tricky because it should only touch at one point. Uh, you can clearly see that they're negative. I have a negative gradient and actually at this point right here at my turning point, it's going to have a gradient of zero. So obviously it's not increasing for every value of x. So if we were to zoom out now and just ignore my poor tangents, they serve the purpose that they need to. My answers are going to be B and D. And that is it. Hopefully this, uh, question, this video was helpful to you.